After two days of tasting the delicious food of Yorkshire, it is exciting to be in the great city of London. Sophisticated food is always on the minds of Londoners, and even the city skyline boasts iconic buildings with nicknames like the Gherking and the Cheese Grater. It is in the leafy suburb of Kensington that I meet Danny Lidgate, whose butcher shop is a gourmet destination. So we've been butchers for 160 years. I'm the fifth generation in our family to be butchers. We sell a lot of beef. We sell a lot of Scotch beef. And we get the carcasses in our shop. We mature them for 21 days in a special dry aging environment. And the end result is absolutely perfect. The quality of lamb and pork meat is as good as it gets. And there are about 30 varieties of gourmet sausages. We make about 10 different varieties of pies, again all fresh on the premises. We make a steak and kidney pie, really popular in the winter. And then we've got some traditional flavours like the cottage pie and the shepherd's pie, which is just minced beef, minced lamb, nice chopped carrots, freshly mashed potato on top. In the oven, 25 minutes, beautiful. Steak and kidney casserole is one of my favourite English dishes. First, I cook one sliced onion in a little oil for about five minutes. Then, in a bowl, I stir two tablespoons of plain flour into 500 grams of diced casserole beef and diced beef kidney. Season with salt, pepper, and two cloves. Off the heat, I add the beef to the onions, and in a bowl, I mix together one cup of tomato sauce, a glass of red wine, and half a glass of water and stir well. Then pour this over the meat. The secret of this dish is that you don't stir the meat with the cooking liquid. Next, I add two crushed cloves of garlic and three carrots cut into bite-sized pieces. I cover well with foil and a lid and bake in the oven at 140 degrees for about two hours. The result is a rich, saucy, delicious steak and kidney casserole, a truly beautiful English classic. Traveling through the lush pastures of English countryside helps me understand why there are so many great English cheeses. Jason Hines, one of the dedicated owners of Neil's Yard Dairy, is a British cheese specialist. In the last 30 years, there's been uh, quite a renaissance of um, farmhouse cheese in the British Isles. I am so pleased to see the outstanding quality of British cheeses. I can't take my eyes off one of my all-time favourites, the Colston Bassett Stilton. The fresh goat milk cheeses look so delicious, and the Burkwell used milk cheese is a rustic novelty. I wish I could taste them all, but I have to make a choice. And it's cheddar. So in here we've got farmhouse cheddars, um, all UK produced, most with raw milk. Of all of the cheeses, this one is the one we sell the most of. It's complex, it's, uh, it's beautiful. Raw milk is a helpful ingredient um, in giving it some of that complexity, but it's a nice rounded flavour. It's not too strong, it's mm. not too acidic, it's got, it's got breadth and it's got length. When you taste a little bit like that, you want more. You do, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, it's an eater. Tomorrow I am in France, in the magnificent city of Lille, where I taste the specialties of the region. Mm -hmm.